What's up, guys? I have some really good news to talk to you guys about today, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm going to get into that in about 30 seconds, but I really shouldn't be using this gameplay. I know I told you guys last night in my video, you know, take it easy on the new guys, and I couldn't resist. We were playing a bunch of really, really low-level people, but they were playing in a party together, so I thought, like, maybe they could have been, uh, you know, alternate accounts. No, not really. <laughs> but, yeah, these are some really low-level people, and they are about to get the ever-living dog shit stomped out of them. And I feel bad for this. I even said it last night while we were playing, you know, I was like, man, I feel bad for this game, but like, you know, fuck it, it's an online game. There's a bit of pub stomping that goes on every now and then. I didn't think it would be this bad, like halfway through we realized how bad it was, and then we kind of eased up a bit, but uh, yeah, just watch the game play and uh, listen to what I got to talk about, because uh, it's some really good news. And if you guys remember a couple months ago I did make videos talking about how end user license agreements uh, can possibly be illegal and there needs to be some type of action in court that can be done to fix this so we can sell our used games to GameStop and companies like the UK game won't be going down and uh, that way if we have games on Steam and we want to trade them to a friend or f fucking sell them for like five six bucks to somebody we can and they won't let you do that on Steam or Origin well guess what what the precedent has been set by the court justice of the European Union and I'm gonna say that again the precedent has been set by the European Union and what I'm gonna say is right now more specifically I'm reading this word for word an author of software cannot oppose the resale of his used licenses allowing the use of his programs downloaded from the internet now what that means is that no matter what the end user license agreement that they put on the back of these video games it means that once you pay for that license you own that fucking license and you don't own the actual game but you own the license that is on that game that is sold for that game you can't just fucking say once I'm done with this I don't no longer have this license no because you purchased that license so now what the European Union is saying is that they're stopping Origin and Steam from letting people sell their games used online which means if I have 400 games on Steam and I go on eBay and I want to put each game up for one dollar a piece I can and that's exactly what needed to be done and the fact that they're actually doing this for digital software gives me hope and fucking for the future that we can use this for our games and like games like uh used games and uh you know games we might have picked up at a flea market or whatever because they have no right to tell us what we've done once we purchase that license i can see if we were trying to you know redistribute that and uh, you know take our game that we bought and uh you know digitally copy that game and sell our own rights and licenses to it no that is 100 percent illegal that is infringement. You are not allowed to do that. But once you do purchase this license agreement on these games, you are allowed to sell them. And that's exactly what they've been trying to do with uh, these used games. They've been saying that used games are putting a dent in the video games, uh, you know, in the video game industry today because they're saying developers aren't making their money back on these games when they're freaking... Uh, when people are going to the store like three, four days later and finding used copies for five dollars less and then these developers go ahead and put the fucking online passes in the goddamn games to charge you an extra ten dollars so you're gonna be like, why am I gonna buy the used game when I gotta buy the online pass anyway? So now I gotta go ahead and buy the online pass and I just paid five dollars more for a used game than I did. No, shut the fuck up developers. This is exactly, we paid for the license we should be able to fucking sell the game if we want. You guys make a ton of money on video games and you know what if your video game didn't sell too well and people were buying it used maybe that's uh that that's that's motivation to do it better to make better games because if nobody's wanting to buy the fucking same Call of Duty they bought for the last three years brand new when they could buy it two days later for fucking $45 from GameStop, fucking let them. Because there are some people that just fucking buy these games and they realize, man, this isn't the game that I wanted to buy. So I want to turn this in and maybe, you know, you bought, maybe you bought Black Ops 2 and you're like, man, uh, all my friends seem to be really having a lot of fun on fucking Halo 4. So now I got to trade in Black Ops 2 and I'm going to buy Halo 4 
store and they're like, well, we just missed out on a sale of fucking uh, Black Ops 2 because you sold it back, blah, blah, blah. No, you didn't miss out on a sale of anything. You already sold that copy. That copy that you sold is already out there. It's already tangible. You don't have to print out another copy. You're not losing money because that person's not going to buy your game brand new anyway because he doesn't know if he wants the fucking game. People that buy these games used, you want to no talk about like GameStop? You want to know what people do? They buy these used games from GameStop and since they have a 7 day return policy where they can return it, no questions asked because the box is already open, guess what? These people buy the games, play them and take them back to GameStop and GameStop didn't make any fucking money off of it and now you're out of fucking copy and GameStop's out of copy. So what are you talking about? Why, how is How are you losing any money from that? This person that, that does these sort of things did not want your fucking game in the first place. They, it's, it's the same thing as renting it. If somebody rents your game and plays it, th does that mean you lost out on a copy? No. It just means you had somebody that wanted to try your game and didn't really feel like it was worth buying. So if you do want people to buy your game, make fucking games worth fucking buying. And we'll buy them. That's how it's always been in video games. Do you know how shitty it would be if Nintendo was like, Oh no, you weren't allowed to sell cartridges of Nintendos no more? Are you fucking cops raiding fucking flea markets and shit? And dragging an 80 year old lady by their fucking hair and putting them in handcuffs? No, that would be fucking despicable. Why are video game companies trying to proverbially do that to us? No. Video game developers can go fuck themselves in the ass. They leave us high and dry fucking bleeding us for money anyway. So why the fuck should we give a fuck about how much money they make? European Union, I want to thank you for setting a precedent, and I hope that America can follow suit. So, my name's Jay, Morning After Kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys later.